The next step seems to be voice, not even necessarily, if you don't want to, not even touching, uh, but rather just speaking. Is that about right? Yes. Uh, voice has been connected with our sync technologies from the very first time we launched sync. Um, it remains a critical part of, of our My4Touch experience as well. And the upgrade, is it going to imp improve that as well? The feedback that we're getting from our beta testers is that their, um, their satisfaction with voice recognition is dramatically improved. They're getting faster response. They're getting more accurate responses. We haven't made sweeping changes to voice recognition in the performance upgrade, but because we've made the whole system faster, um, everything that they're experiencing about the system is improving, including voice recognition. What do you know? So the system itself, the, especially the voice recognition part of it, is actually feeling better in this upgrade, even though it has not necessarily changed itself. So somebody's learned that system will just experience more pleasure with the system. Exactly. So I've used the touchscreen, and I've noticed that you actually have to press pretty hard on the touchscreen, unlike, say, an Android-powered phone or an iOS. What's the difference? It's different because we use a completely different technology in the car. Um, phones are designed with a, what's called a capacitive touchscreen. They're sensitive to the proximity of your hand, but not so much the pressure you put on the device. Meaning if your hand gets near if it? If your hand gets near it, it'll activate, right? That's why you can do such a, such a soft touch, and the system will, will, will react. In the car, we use a resistive touchscreen, which is sensitive to pressure. So you actually have to push on it in order to get a response. And why, why would you want something that requires actually a little more work, if you will, to push on the screen in a car? So there's really two primary reasons. One was just durability. Parts in a car have to work reliably from minus 40 below zero right, to um, you know, north of 150 degrees Fahrenheit. And whether a car's parked in Minnesota overnight in the frigid winter and the customer starts it in the morning, right, they expect that frozen My Ford Touch, right, to work just like it does all the time. When you're in a car and you're in the driving environment and you're in traffic and, you, and you've got other, other distractions around you, um, we want to make really sure that you're confident about what you're doing before we react, right? So as you reach out to that screen, we don't want to react just because you're getting close to us. Right? We want to make sure that you physically push that button and that you really want to take the action that, that, that you're taking.